appreciate everybody in that, in that first call segment getting your thoughts, getting your ideas, letting the passion flow. This is what we do here on In My Own Words, Touchdown to Alabama Magazine. We talk Tide football. We have a conversation surrounding Crimson Tide football. But right now, we go to the phone lines, too. We go to the In My Own Words hotline. We pick up a good friend of mine, the big homie right here. This is the founder of Maximum Performance Institute out of Birmingham, one of the big dogs from that 2009 BCS National Championship team. I'm talking about none other than my man Mike McCoy, who is in the building. Big Mike, oh, what's going on, man? <laughs> what's going on, man? I appreciate the wonderful and kind words, brother. We got Mike McCoy here on the show, founder of Maximum Performance Institute, also 2009 uh, national champion for the Crimson Tide. So, Mike, just as a former player, and you're watching this game from uh, different breakdowns, different substitutional packages, different personnel groupings, you have a different mind when you watch a football game versus a lot of people. So, watching that matchup against Texas A&M over the weekend, uh, what were some of the things that kind of maybe troubled you as a former player? Energy and effort. Them two words, man. Energy and effort. Uh just like uh well, that was one of the things that we kind of were brought up on just energy man them boys look like they dead over there no passion no uh it just it's not the same and i don't know if it's because you know you at alabama you expect you know you put on a uniform people just gonna lay down you got an x on your back man no matter what you got a target on your chest and me personally i really just don't i think they got too many nice guys on the field man they ain't got no dog in them, none I ain't seen a bite yet. Uh, got a couple playmakers, but, and you know, we can blame it on the play calling all day long. But if you execute, I don't care what the coach calls, you execute, you're going to get some positive yards no matter what. You know, so that's my biggest thing from it. And I just think energy and effort, those are the two key things I don't think that we had Saturday night. And I ain't seen it all year, really in the last two years. So you mentioned, Mike, Bama's got some playmakers, especially on defense. It's got a Will Anderson who wants football. It's got a Malachi Moore who wants football. But you played on teams, Mike, where you had guys that had a couple of screws missing. You had some rough riders, some rough necks, some guys that said, some got to give. Like, you had some stone-cold killers when you look at guys like Hightower and Rolando McClain and Eric Anders, Terrence Cody. I mean, the list goes on, the number of guys that you played with. So, kind of, you know, what is the importance of having that mixture of some cool guys, but also th those guys where when that switch is flipped, like, you don't want to mess with them dudes? They set the tone, man. You need guys like that, man. Dudes who I ain't trying to say that you got to call come from a low poverty area or low circumstance, but when a kid come from where we come from, grew up where we come from, and knowing football is that your that's your only way out, bro. You gonna hit that field running differently every day. You know when you got a mama light bill do, or you ain't got a pot to pee in or a tree to pee on, you know, you're going you gonna to hit that field a little bit different. See, the thing is, and this is just, it could just be a generational thing, man. Everybody's telling these kids how good they are before they even get to college, bro. And you got people rating these kids five stars before they even – who rating these guys? Who rating them? You know, if – the evaluation is gone, it's thrown out the window, you know. Give me them three stars and them four stars, the kids that got chips on their shoulder, man. The boys who got a point to prove. I don't want no pre Madonnas. I want somebody who's coming to work, a blue-collar worker. That's the difference. If you're just tuning into the show here on a Monday, we got my man Mike McCoy on the phone lines, founder of Maximum Performance Institute out of Bessemer, 2009 BCS National Champion for the Crimson Tide at wide receiver. So, Mike, I know you mentioned, you know, the play calling is the play calling, but you got to execute regardless. As you look at Alabama's defensive coordinator, Pete Golding, right now, is there something that he's missing? Is he the guy to you? Does Alabama I need to make some changes there in terms of who's calling the defense. Just what's your assessment? You being a former player, you played under Kirby Smart. What's your assessment of Pete Golding? The, my question would be, the, are the guys bought in? 
that's going to be the biggest thing. And I don't think – I think there's no there's a reason why we got the biggest turnover rate than anything. Coach Saban is the guys that, that were invested in the program. The, the Burton Burns, the Coach Williams, the Scott Cochran that were on the sideline. People talk about injury, but, you know, them were workloads. Those were bound to happen. You know, that's it's just what it was. But you saw the energy. You, you saw guys – Freddie Roach, in my opinion, should be doing a play call. That's just me. Hey, but who am I? I'm just a guy. I just think because when you played and you've been where these kids are trying to go and you know what it looks like looking down the barrel of that gun, come on, man. Them kids are going to receive you a lot better, man. But I ain't trying to be funny, but if you don't – I say representation is everything. And it's not color. We're talking about culture. If you don't come from that type of culture and you ain't played on that high level, how are you going to tell me to do something? Absolutely. So last quick one here to Mike McCoy. We're joined here by McCoy, founder of Maximum Performance Institute, 2009, a BCS national champion. So Alabama's got Mississippi State this week. They know the drill. you got to win out the rest of the schedule, you know, trying to make it to the SEC championship and trying to get to this playoff. But in your opinion, Mike, Mike, what needs to happen starting this week, whether it's practice, whether it's film room, it don't matter, what needs to happen starting this week? Well, I, I don't think – one thing about Coach Saban, he's a mastermind. And them losing, I think, was good for them. It let them know, hey, man, you're not the only ones who can play football. I think it was a wake-up call, so – I don't think the adjustments that they need to make are the players. Like uh, the last caller said, who you had on the – I didn't uh, catch who it was. But the personnel got to change. What packages you got in? You got to know the strength and weaknesses of your players. And we playing against a passing team this week. Are you going to drop eight? Or are you going to blitz the whole game? That's the question. Are you going to make them run the ball? That's the question. That, that needs to be the deciding factor. But going forward – with Coach Saban, I think he's going to take over the reins a little bit like he always does when it's crunch time. And I think his play calling ability and just his connection to the players itself is going to – I think that we'll see the guys in the playoffs and they'll make a run for the title again. He is Mike McCoy, ladies and gentlemen, founder of Maximum Performance Institute out of Bessemer, also former Alabama receiver from 2006 to 09, one of the dogs on that 09 championship team helping us out here on the show. Be sure to check out Maximum Performance Institute. Mike will get you right if you're trying to be in there getting that workout in. Mike, as always, man, do, do your thing, man. Be good. Appreciate you, man. Take care of yourself. All right, man. Holding the road, man. God bless.